Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how I made these inflated wallpapers that I uploaded a couple of days ago. It's super easy, you just have to follow up some easy steps to get that 3D look. Let's go. So first things first, I created a document in the size of iPhone 14 Pro, you can do it in other sizes, but uh, I'm just trying to create nice wallpapers, that's why I made it in this size. So I'm just gonna type inflated, I'm gonna show you an easy sample first. Just type in your text as you desired, and then create a nice background for it change the color of it to whatever you like and we just draw it around that color maybe <clears throat> and put your background behind your text in the layers <clears throat> and from here I'm gonna also change my font Color, also the background. I wanna make it a little bit uh, darker. I would also would love to give it a stroke here, like so. After that, just simply select all, bo both background and your text, and just hit Command G to group them, or you can just simply right click on it and here select group by selecting your group what you need to do is to go to effect 3d material and click on inflate so as you can see it kind of gave us a 3d look but we are going to change some settings for the depth i usually go around thousand and for the materials down here in the base properties and for the roughness I'm gonna give it 0 0.15 and for the metallic I would give it 0 0.22 so as you can see it will give you a nice reflection in the light section uh, there are different options that you can change to achieve a look that you want. Uh, intensity, basically, I'm gonna put it around 90. And for the height, I'm gonna leave it in 50 to see what happens if I rotate. Yeah, that's what I, like. I want I want my text to have a little bit of uh, shadow above so I believe this is actually nice <laughs> so the hardness is good so after you've finished uh, setting up your settings what you need to do is that you should just come up here and on this drop down menu click on uh, ray tracing and turning it on and put the quality on high and just simply click on render so it might take a little bit of a time due to your system configuration and your design itself so after it is finished yeah you can see how cool it looks if I zoom in, you can see the nice reflections here. And the dent that it gave me like in here. So let me just create something else for you. So for the second sample, I'm just gonna use this Batman logo. Uh, so I just drag and dropped my image but for this inflation uh, 
effect you need uh, vectors not images so what I'm going to do with my image is that I will just simply click on my image and up here I would uh, convert my image into the tracing option and from this icon when I click it it will open up my image tracing panel like so so I don't know if you have worked with um, image trace or not but I'm gonna uh, describe it quickly so you have different presets and views but what I mostly use is that uh, this mode drop down you can select black and white or color if I click on color it will just as you can see kind of vectorize your image in a color way so as you can see but there are some issues with it and from this advanced tab you can just change the path the corners and the noise but for now I'm just gonna use black and white mode so as you can see it is much more cleaner on the edges and everything and I will also lower my noise and that's perfect so uh, it is now uh, kind of a waiter but you cannot actually delete the background because it is on the layers as you can see it is saying that it is just one image so what you need to do is that you need to click on your image and from up here you need to expand your image it will basically convert your image into path so now as you can see it has turned to a path so now I'm just gonna simply delete my white layers and boom now we have it so now that I have this Batman logo I'm gonna put it in the center and uh, yeah that is good I'm gonna create a nice background color of yellow so this is what happens when you use image trace uh, in the previous step because we chose black and white mode uh, now it is turning everything to the black and white so what you need to do is that you simply just uh, select the rectangle that you have chosen go to up uh, go to edit edit colors and convert it to RGB and now you can just simply go and grab your color again and place the rectangle below our icon select all of them command G to group them and again you can go to effect 3d material and inflate or if it is open for you, the window is open, is open for you, you can just simply select inflate from here and it will give you the nice effect. I'm just gonna give it a nice depth and in the material for the roughness, I would always use 0.15 and for the metallic 0.22. Yeah, that is nice. And for the intensity, I would maybe keep it, yeah, I would keep it around that seven as it was. And uh, we'll just keep it as that. Yeah, that is good. And I will simply go to ray tracing, put it on high and select render and here we go we have our nice 3d inflated effect and that is just beautiful also you can always just click on the file and change all the settings but make sure you turn off this icon so uh, it's basically a real-time preview and when it is on it's gonna take a little bit of more time to process everything so just make sure to turn it off change your settings and then 
turn it back on so i'm just gonna create another sample for you guys but i'm gonna speed up the videos so let's go Hope you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and peace.